Hello guys, welcome once again. In the last video, I've shown you how to download and install Visual Studio Express Edition for creating your C-Sharp projects. And we have created our first project in C-Sharp. And we were able to output this message on the screen, which is welcome to the tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to show you how to input and output values using C-Sharp. For example, uh, the user want to input some values and on the basis of user input you want to show the output how can you do it I will show you in this video so let's start for example I will declare a variable string not this but string and I will name the string as name okay and right now I will name assign the name as for example programming okay so this name which I have declared is called a variable and this string which is in front of the variable is called the data type and a variable is just a value holder or placeholder for this value okay and this data type I'm going to sh discuss this these data types in detail but for now just imagine that this is a variable name and this can only contain the string value string means these kind of word or this kind of sentences right now for example you want to show this variable name on the console how you can do is you can just write in the console write console dot write just you can just output it by saying the name is and then give this plus sign and then not this equal to but this plus sign and then just copy this variable called name and place it here and what this plus sign is it's called a concatenation operator and what it does is it concatenate this string which is all also a string and this string and it will show the output together so it will show ideally show the name is programming right let's run the program i will just click this green button here or I will just press control F5 and it's showing the name is programming so in order to show the value of variable what you need to do is you just need to give this plus sign and the name of the variable okay now for example you want to input the value of name or input name and then what you want to show the output this name right what you can do is once again I will go on the top and I can write console dot write and inside I will give a string and I will say please enter some name okay and then instead of assigning the name to this variable I will ask the user to give the name so I will just delete this and instead of this I will write console dot read line and what this console.read line does is it enables uh, you to enter the value, enter a string. So it reads a line which you enter. Okay. So what this ideally do is it will ask to enter the name, and when you enter the name, it will be shown here. Okay. So let's run the program, and it says please enter some names. For example, I write YouTube and I will press enter 
and it says the name is YouTube okay so it works like this now for example you want to enter the surname also or you want to enter two names you, what you can do is you can just copy this and paste it here and this name I will call this name name 1 and I will call this name 2 okay and I will say please enter name 1 and here I will say please enter name 2 okay so for example I want to enter two names what can I do here I can just print the first name is so I can write first name is and you can just give this plus sign once again here and again you can write and second name is and just give this this will contain the first name and this will should contain the second name just using this plus operator okay so this will also print out let's see what it prints out so I will run the program it says please enter the first name so I will write YouTube 1 and press enter and the second name I will write YouTube 2 and when I press enter here you see it says first name is YouTube 1 and the second name is YouTube 2 okay so the concatenation works like this now there is a other way you can uh, print these values and this other way is called you by using placeholders so instead of uh, doing like this what you can write is you can write the names are or names entered are and then you give a curly braces and inside you give zero and once again give and and once again give curly braces and give one and in here give a comma and not this one but comma and give the first name and once again the comma and give the second name okay so what this code is it's a placeholder it's called a placeholder and this placeholder will show the value of the first value you will pass after comma and this placeholder will show the second value after this comma so second value is name 2 right and it starts it starts from 0 so 0 1 and if we have the third value we will write name 3 for example and in here we will write once again of curly braces and 2 okay so it will show the third value also but right now we don't have any third value so just remember this is called called the placeholder and whatever is the zeroth value which is name one after comma it will just replace this by this name and it will re just replace the second value by this okay and I will run the program once again and I will say this time 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for example and second name is max okay and I will press enter and it says the names entered are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and max right so in this way you can use this 
console write to output the values and console read line to input the values. Now what we have done till now is for the string. But suppose you want to show the integers. For example, once again I will just delete this or I will keep it here. I will declare a variable integer. So I will declare int x and I will say is equal to is equal to console dot read line. So instead of using string, you want to use the integer. And once I have I have written this in front of this x, and it's showing this squiggly line here, and it's showing that this is not possible because read line only takes the string values and not the integers and this variable we have declared is an integer right this data type of this variable is an integer and this is not possible so what we can do is we need to pass whatever string we have entered into the integer and then show it or, or then place it into the x so how we can do it you can just write int dot parse and in the bracket you enclose this console dot read line and what this line will do is whatever string or whatever line you will enter it will just convert this string into the integer and then place it into the x right and for this I will do the same here. So for example, I will say please enter number one and please enter number two. Okay. And you want to show the addition of these two numbers. This should be y, for example. Okay. And if, for example, you want to show the addition of these two numbers. So what you can do here is you can declare a third variable int int z equal to x plus y okay and what this does is whatever you write the value of x and whatever you enter the value of y it will add those two values and place it into this z okay and for example you want to show the addition so that you can write the sum of value 0 which is x so just copy x here and value y which is y so co copy and paste y and then write is and we will we will assign or we will use third placeholder for z so just write curly braces 2 and then here write z okay now when we run the program it will ask us to enter the first value let's give space here because it's a little bit confusing and here also okay run the program once again and i will enter first number for example 355 enter I will enter the second number 675 for example and I press enter and it will give the output the sum of 365 and 675 is 1030 which is correct right so in this way you can output the values by user inputs okay this should be 2 so I hope you have understood the concept of inputting and outputting the values on screen uh, and please keep watching this video I am going to cover lots of things so please stay tuned and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now.